Hi guys, today I am going to be trying something that I have seen done loads on social media. I've always been a little bit confused as to whether it's moisturising or protein based. So I'm going to clear that up in this video. I am talking about a rice water rinse. So for those of you that have never heard of it, it is literally the water left over from rice. Now, I have done a little bit of research on it because like I said, I wasn't sure if it was protein or moisturizing, like a hair treatment. I've seen a bit of conflicting information. Now, from what I've read, the reason why rice water rinses are so good is because they contain most of the sort of vitamins and minerals that are in rice itself that you eat. So it contains amino acids, B vitamins, vitamin E, minerals, that's all it said, they didn't specify which minerals, and antioxidants. So it all sounds very sort of healthy and cleansing. Um, and amino acids, as far as my understanding is, is they are a protein. So to me it says that rice water rinse is more on the protein side as opposed to the moisture side but you will see how my hair reacts in a little bit now why people like to do rice water rinses is it promises to detangle smooth strengthen add shine and it actually can promise to help your hair grow now obviously to get all these benefits you would have to do a rice water rinse fairly regularly but it's just sort of it does seem like a rice water rinse would be the perfect hair treatment so that's why I decided to give it a go. So now I think I've covered all the bases, let's see how I get on. So we are down in my kitchen, uh, ready to play. This is what we're going to be working with today, I've gone all blue Peter, here's one I prepared earlier. This has been sat in the fridge for two days now. So the water's gone nice and cloudy, you can see. It's half of one of these mugs, this size mug, half of one of these with two full mugs of water. I just put the rice in, added the water, gave it a little swish, and then like I said, I've left it in the fridge now for the last two days. So, let's do it. I've got my jug here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and sort of work out how to angle it properly. I've got my sieve over it and I'm gonna strain the rice water into the jug just to make it easier to pour on my head in a little bit. I'm just, so it doesn't have a smell. That's my first observation. So let's try. There you can, there, I thought it froze there. You can just about see what I'm doing. I'm going to try and not make a huge mess, but you know, I probably will. So very carefully, lifting it up, I'm just going to pour it into the jug. And I'm flinging rice all over my kitchen. I think this is... I think this is how you're supposed to strain it. I don't know if you're supposed to like, I know you can do it through um, a pair of tights or something. I just, I haven't. And then what I'm gonna do is just use a little spoon just to get it all out of the pot. And I'll just press it into the sieve just to make sure I'm getting as much of this starch and amino acids and all the yummy goodness. What does the rice feel like? It feels like it's sort of halfway through cooking. Just, if you're wondering. So I'm just squeezing out every drop that, I can hear it still trickling through, but that'll do. Looks like I've got plenty. So here is the finished mixture. Can't really see because my jug's old and clouded itself, but the water 
is very cloudy. It's like a sort of pale yellow color. So I'm very excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna go and wash my hair. Um, just because the instructions that I'm following said to shampoo your hair first. So I'm gonna do that. Then I will show you guys the next step. So I've washed my hair. You can see it's still soaking wet. I used that shampoo there, the Lust Brands shampoo, uh, because I love it. So, what I'm gonna do now, this next bit is gonna be a bit sort of jumbled because I've got my head upside down and I'm thinking and I've never done it before. So, what I'm gonna do is basically the bowl method. Now, I do have a video on the bowl method if you guys wanted to go check that out. Um, but you will see now. So I've got my big red mixing bowl here. It's clean. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got the rice water. I hope you guys couldn't see what I'm doing because I'm aware that I'm awful at camera angles. I'm just gonna slowly pour it all over my hair and then I'm gonna spend some time sort of dunking my hair into the mixture in the bowl that will have caught all the runoff give it a really good squish and just making sure that all my hair is coated. Now this has been in the fridge so it's gonna be cold. <laughs> right, here we go. Just gonna stop, <gasps> oh, that's really cold. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm squeezing it over my hair really gently squeezing it in, pouring it everywhere, giving myself a heart attack because it's absolutely freezing. I might try it with cooked rice water next time. Oh! <laughs> but either way, I know I'm making some interesting noises but I'm at least getting my hair all coated. So, I'm going to let it squish. You can hear all the water plop it into the bowl. Now, my first impression so far is I'm worried it might be a bit drying for my hair. That's my sort of immediate first impression. As I'm squishing it, it might be a bit drying. So, it says the instructions that I'm following it says to leave on for 20 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna leave it on that long. Um, because like, yeah, like I said, it feels quite drying. But I will still persevere. This is so cold. <laughs> well, they say it's supposed to be quite good for your scalp, isn't it, as well, cold water. Try and get it all in my hair. Oh, just pour it out one of the bath tube. And I'll give it another good scrunch. And then I'll probably dunk it one more time. Then let it sit for a few minutes. Then I'll rinse it out, I think. Because like I say, I don't want to sort of dry my hair out. Because I don't know if you guys can see, it is starting to feel a little bit sort of matted and tangly. But I've got my trusty Aldi conditioner on standby. Um, that should help. But like I said, I'm going to pass the bit. I'm going to dunk it one more time, squish it one more time, and then I'll wrap it up in a bag and leave it for. I'll leave it for a few minutes. I just don't think I'll do the full twenty. I am trying to get it all over my head as well, including the back. Right, one more squish. And then I think we'll quit while we're ahead. So, my hair's still coated in the rice water. I'm not gonna rinse it out yet. It does look like my hair's gone curlier though. That's something at least. So now the next bit is going to be interesting. I've got my trusty nappy sack. You can use like shower caps and uh, special heated shower caps and all that jazz, but I am skin. 
<laughs> so I'm using one of my daughter's nappy sacks. So what I'm going to do is attempt to get all my hair in this, as much of my hair as I can, because it is pretty long. And then, you've heard me say by now how much I hate the feeling of when the water like trickles down my neck and face. So I'm probably going to sort of sit with my head upside down for a couple of minutes. Um, so the sort of trickles go back into the bag. Then I'm going to rinse my hair condition and detangle with my Aldi volume conditioner that you've seen me raving about loads. I will then style it as normal. I'm gonna, I'll tell you what products I use in a minute because I haven't decided, um, but I'm gonna brush it up and out. I'm not gonna do any sort of fancy ribbon curls or anything because when I'm trying something new, I like to see how my hair is gonna naturally fall. So I'm just gonna roughly brush it up and out with my Be Hairful brush dry it and then I'll be back. So after I rinsed out the rice water, I slathered my hair in the Aldi volume conditioner, detangled it using my fingers, um, and then I think I just detangled it as usual, like I normally do under the running water. I then applied a sort of fingertip blob of the Boots Curl Cream raked that through my hair and then I did the double emulsifying trick which I think I've shown so I rub it all together till my hands are white rake it through my hair and then rub my hands again like again and then that just makes the product go a little bit further um I then brushed up and out using my amazing be hairful brush that you're probably sick of me going on about I did one pump per section of the Lus all-in-one styler and then brushed um, I then scrunched in a decent handful of the Superdrug Extra Firm Hold Mousse once I'd brushed each section of my hair. Did my sort of wet plot buff hybrid thing that I like to do uh, for about 10 minutes. And then I applied a small handful, probably sort of coating the top of my three fingers, of the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel. Um, I then started to diffuse my roots, but the tape kept falling off of my diffuser and my hair dryer, so I ended up just air drying. And that was that. So it's been a couple of days since I've done the rice water rinse. This is what my hair looked like um, by the end of the first day. This is what my hair looked like after a refresh yesterday morning. And this is what it looked like by the end of the day yesterday. So I think my hair is a little bit over moisturised. So this morning when I refreshed my hair, I made sure to do quite a protein rich refresh. So I did my usual water and the Lus all in one styler mixture, just spritzed that over dry hair until it was quite damp but not soaking. I then used the Cantu leave-in hydrating mist that I love because that has a couple of different types of protein in. And then I finished off by smoothing over some of the Red Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel, which also has protein in. So it's quite a protein rich refresh. And my hair is still slightly damp because I wanted to get this footage filmed before it frizzed up again like it's been doing. Now when I was rinsing my hair, I think I mentioned it whilst I was doing it, it felt like my hair was drying out quite a lot. So I am surprised at how sort of overly soft and moisturised my hair feels. That's sort of an unexpected twist. But I will say if I scooch a little bit closer, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up to be honest. It's so murky outside today. So my hair does actually feel really shiny. Like I said, it's very soft to the point where it's a bit over soft. So although I didn't brush style properly, I do sometimes find that even when I do my quick up and out brush styling method, I do still get quite a bit of definition because of the magic hair brush. Now my hair looks quite defined at the moment, but that might be because it's still slightly damp. Um, but yeah, so I found that I've really lost quite a bit of definition 
um, through the sort of over moisturization. I will say though, um, obviously it's been a couple of days now, so I'm gonna be washing my hair again soon anyway. But when I first did the rice water rinse, my scalp did feel quite nice. Um, it felt quite sort of light and not at all itchy and not at all sort of weighed down and uncomfortable. So what I'm considering doing is doing the rice water every so often just to sort of cleanse my scalp because uh, as we all know healthy hair starts at the scalp. So they were my thoughts and experiences on the rice water rinse. Thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried the rice water rinse and what you thought of it. And if there's anything else you want to see, as usual, always open to suggestions. As always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share and I will see you soon. Bye bye! Two of this size mug. No, let's start that again. So that's where we're at. Make sure my hair's even. I always look like I've got more hair on one side of my head. I will say my hair even... Oh, flipping heck. Microplopped for about 10 minutes. Not microplopped.